the sweetest time of the year. Not because Dermot's here, but because strawberry season is here. Yeah, 87. Thousand tons of Britain's favourite fruit mm. expected to be consumed this year. And Phil Vickery is live from a strawberry field in Surrey somewhere today, about to transform these guys mm. into a delicious summer treat. Good morning, Phil. Good morning to you two. The sun has just come out as soon as we come on out, which is brilliant. So, yeah, we've picked a few strawberries and we're almost at the height of the season. It's a bit delayed because of the rain, but we're here and we're cooking it now. So here I'm making a cheesecake. You, here it is there, you'll see it. Very simple, few ingredients, put together properly, works very well. The thing to say also is if the, the riper the strawberries, the better it is for this sort of this, this, this dish. Golden rule, if a strawberry smells nice, the chances are it will taste good and these are all perfect. So, strawberry cheesecake base. Here I'm using Nice biscuits or rich tea or digestive, it's up to you. Nice biscuits, my mum's favourite when I was a kid. They have quite, almost like a nutty texture, a bit like a, they have coconut in them. Talking of which, I've got some coconut here. This is desiccated coconut. You can toast it, you can leave it just as it is. I sometimes put it into bases because it has a nutty, nutty texture to things. But also, if you're putting a baked cheesecake, it always takes on a nice cooked flavour as well. So I've smashed up the knees biscuits. To that, I'm going to add the coconut. Just mix that together. And I've got melted butter here. Now, uh, I sometimes just use chocolate. So if I'm doing a chocolate cheesecake, I'll use cocoa powder and melted chocolate will do the same as butter. It will set it. Even if you're doing a cooked cheesecake, it won't burn at all. It actually works. So you put enough butter in, not just to bring the whole thing together. Now, the thing to say about this is, when you mix it together, it feels like it's not enough. And you'll see, as I get further into it, that it looks a bit dry. Don't worry about that, because once you start pressing it in, little goes a long way. Now, even at that point there, you'll see that's just about right. So pretty much all of that's done. Tip that into your spring form base. Let's give it that for a second. And then with a dessert spoon or a tablespoon, you just want to pack that down. Don't go too mad, because one of the things I really hate about a cheesecake is, well, at least for a second, when you cut through a cheesecake, it should go through the cream and through the base, not going crack flying across the table. So don't pack it too hard. OK, so just pop that in. You've got to be care fairly careful that you don't have it too loose, or it will fall apart. That is pretty much it, like that. In the fridge for about 10 minutes, ends up this one here. I'll just say that there. That's quite hard, you see that there? That's been in the fridge. That's your base. Now, filling. Very simple. Here I'm using mascarpone cheese. You can use normal cream cheese if you want. It works exactly the same. So mascarpone or cream cheese, a can of condensed milk, which is 394 grams, lemons or lime juice. Now, it's a chemical reaction here that sets the whole thing together. So you part whisk the mascarpone. You then pour in the condensed milk. Now, when I was a little boy, my mum used to have these in sandwiches. No wonder I've got fill-ins. But yeah, but it works really well in things like this. And all you need to do, let's get rid of that over there for a second, is bring this together. And you'll see it's quite thick, but as you add the condensed milk, it lets itself down. Here's the magic. This is where the magic happens. Here I've got lemon juice or lime juice. You pour that juice into there and you whisk it. And with about, in about seven or eight seconds, there you go, it's setting. The chemical reaction with the acid and the, look at that, and the condensed milk sets it in less than 10 seconds. That is it. So what you then do is put half of this, when it, this set point, into the base like that. Spread that out. Make sure you go to the edge. So it just catches in the edge and stops it coming away. And also seals the bottom as well for the next part. So you spread that out. And even that, that few seconds, look at that, how that has set. That has set in 25 seconds. Here, I have a mixture of chopped strawberries, or just chewed up strawberries or with a knife or a fork or a liquidizer and I've added a little bit of jam to that. Now here's a great tip. If your strawberry is a little bit weak in flavour, a little bit of strawberry jam helps the whole thing along. And don't need it here but I just thought I'd show you that. And you put this compote into the middle of the cheesecake like that. See that? Like that. You then add the rest of the cheesecake on top, cover it and set it and it'll end up like this one here. It takes about two hours to set in the fridge, but pretty much, as you've seen there, it sets straight away. This is the one that we made earlier, and I put it in there, and you'll see, if I just undo this, it should come apart. And there it is. Look at that. So it has set, you'll see the strawberry jam inside there, and the strawberries, beautiful. Not too packed, 
tasty. Now, just to finish it off, I'm going to add some whole strawberries that we're going to put around the outside of the cheesecake. You can do whatever you like here, but I, I like to see whole strawberries, especially when they're as good as this. And that rule applies to any great ingredient. If you've got something which is perfect to start with, the less you do with it, the better. And here we're just enhancing that flavour just a little bit. Look at that, as if we'd done it before. And then to finish it off, I put a little spoon of strawberry jam in the centre of there like that. OK, now you don't need to do this, it's up to you. And I'll just spread that out slightly. Don't want it to run too far. And the whole strawberry, which we just picked a bit earlier, that goes on top of there, like that one there. Now, to finish it, I've got some coconut here, which is similar to one we had before. And we just gently toasted this. Now, you can do that in a, in a dry frying pan, or you can do it with a, um, a blow lamp, it's up to you. You're not cooking it completely, just giving it a bit of that toasted coconut flavour. And then we'll just pop a little sprinkle of that around, around the edge, like that. And that is that. Now, I know you've got some there. Have you tasted it yet? Tasted it. I told him to wait until we the end. We might have indulged a little bit. But he's had like <laughs> half of it already. <laughs> it's it's delicious. What? Especially with these that, biscuits. That, by the way, is classic you, Hammond, because I go, I shouldn't have some. And then, and then Alison went, go on, have a little bit. Have and then as soon as we come to you, you just grasp me up <laughs> instead of about half a slice for Phil. I like it with this biscuit. It's so it's much. interesting, isn't it? I mean, right. it's different from the digestive, but I, I, like, it. I like it better, I think. Really? I think I like it better, yeah. Mm. Do you know... Do you, do you know why I knew you were eating it? Because I couldn't hear anything in the studio. <laughs> and I thought, you've either cut me off or you're, or you're, or you're filling your faces. The only time we ever shut up, you know that. <laughs> I, love that um, I love the tear with the strawberry puree, Phil. That's really nice. Yeah, but be careful. A lot, a lot of jams these days don't have as much sugar as they used to. So years ago, jam was 50-50, 50 fruit, 50 sugar. The government changed that rule a few years ago. So now it's set with pectin and less sugar, which is fair enough. The only problem with that is, is if you mix it too much, the pectin comes out and becomes quite runny. Right. So if you do add your jam to it, sometimes you put it into a colander and it's nice and thick on the inside. So and the know. coconut, the hint of coconut is just perfect. Really good, Thank yeah. you so much, Phil. Thanks, Phil. Miss you, buddy. Oh. See you send, later. Our, send our love to the strawberry people down there. They sent these strawberries to us, didn't they? This morning. Yeah, they did. So, Are you taking those home? They might not they make it do. home. <laughs> They're not going to make it home. Um, for all the details of today's recipe and more delicious uh, ideas, my chefs download the free this morning app.